So Discord uses webhooks to enable sending free bot messages from the other server. Thanks to that, we can create a very simple cloud script that will send a new Discord message on some kind of trigger. Let's go! Today, I will show you three useful scenarios of exactly that. The first one being a trigger message when someone will register in our game. Second one, simple cheating reports. And the last one, a nice feedback button that will send a message to Discord with nice typing and colors. But first, I'd like to show you how to set up webhooks on your Discord server. It's really easy. This is my test server and don't mistake that with our CocoCode community, link in the description. Open server settings, in the sidebar find integrations option and click create webhook. Here you can type some basic info like the name of our bot and the most important one, channel where bot will send messages. In my case, a private channel, PlayFab reports. Then copy the webhook URL and save that in the safe place. Now let's jump into the PlayFab dashboard. Select Automations option and then Revisions tab. This is a method we've created in the previous episode and we'll start typing below it. Type handlers that new user registered equals function that gets arg argument, open brackets. Here, I'll just paste in a bit of code that you can find in the description. It's basically a post request. We will need to modify it a bit. So here in the URL, you need to paste in your webhook URL copied from the Discord. And here in the content, instead of the test, simply type message like new user registered. Great. Save your revision and make sure to check this deploy option. Now the last step is to add a new rule to trigger our cloud script. At the top, press rules and then new rule. Here we can set what should happen if some kind of event will trigger. You can learn about all kinds of events by clicking this link, but today we'll use com.playfab.playercreated. Then select action. Of course, execute cloud script. And finally, from this list, select new user registered function. Lastly, let's give it a name. In my case, simply register event. That's it. Press save at the bottom and let's go test it. Here is a very simple Unity game where you basically trigger a PlayFab login method on button click. You can see that when I click the button, you almost immediately receive a message on the Discord server. Great. Now the second part, simple cheating reports. So imagine we have this simple game where it's just impossible to score 100 points in 15 seconds, but someone cheated and had a times 20 multiplier. After each game, we will send this score to PlayFab Cloud Script to check if it's valid. If that score is impossible, Let's send a message to Discord that someone is cheating. First, I'll go back to our Cloud Script editor and create a new handler. Type handlers that validate score equals function args open brackets. Here, let's get a score variable. So type va score equals args dot score. We'll be taking that from the arguments passed in Unity. You'll see in just a moment. Then some very simple validation. So let's type if score is greater than 100, open brackets, and here copy this bit of Discord code from the previous function and change the message to cheater found plus, and here we like to get user ID. It's very simple. You just need to type current player ID and PlayFab will handle everything for you. Save your cloud script, deploy it, and now a quick tour to our PlayFab manager in Unity project. Here we need to create a way for sending that user score to PlayFab. Type public void validate score and create argument int score, open brackets. Then create a new PlayFab request. Var request equals new execute cloud script request, open brackets. First, we need to define the function name. In our case, it will be validate score. 
and then pass our score argument. So type function parameter equals new open brackets score equals score. Now let's call playfab API. So type playfab client API dot execute cloud script and passing request on execute success. We've created that in the previous episode and of course on error. Remember that you can get source files for all PlayFab tutorials by supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description. The last step missing in my case is to go to the game manager and call this validate score with the correct score argument on game over. Okay, that should be it. Let's test it out. In Unity, I will press start and try to play a normal game. As you can see, on game over, nothing really happens. But now, I will restart the game and try to cheat. After game over, a new message in the Discord will immediately appear. That's great. The last example, simple feedback form. This should be straightforward, so we have a simple fields like title, message and a button to submit a new form. Let's start in PlayFab Manager this time. As you can see, I have just copied method from the previous part and we'll just change function name to send feedback. And the function parameters topic equals topic input dot text and message equals message input dot text. Now we can jump back to the cloud script with already prepared handler called send feedback based on the previous one with the topic and message already defined. But we have a small problem here. Because we can only pass content, it would be bad if we will try to merge everything into one message. But fortunately, Discord webhooks support embeds. If you'll go to the Disco hook, link in the description, you can see a great embed generator tool. Let's click that Add Embed and discover all the available features. We'll use the author to post a PlayFab ID and here in body, I'd like to use the topic as a title and the message as a description. To make everything look good, I will also add a nice color to it. Great. Now we only need to click that JSON data editor and copy everything here. In the cloud script, you can just replace that content with the newly copied text. Just make sure to replace name as a content player ID and remove quotes from the topic and from the message. That's all. Save and deploy your cloud script and let's check it out in Unity. I will run the game, fill out the topic like what a great channel and some kind of message. At last, let's click submit you'll see a new message on Discord with the details provided in the video. So that's it. Thanks to my awesome patrons that support this channel. Be sure to check out my other videos about PlayFab and Unity UI. See you soon.